Good morning, YouTubers. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's uh, 7.57 a.m., of course. And I'm on my way to work. But uh, before that, I wanted to tell you uh, it's kind of cold out there and it's a little breezy and sprinkly and wet, a little, a little wet. As you can, as you can see by uh, looking at my shield, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there are little water drops there because I don't know. That's what happens when it's when it's sprinkly out there. Your shield's gonna get water drops. Anyways. Um, uh, this is crazy because about two, day, two days ago and even yesterday But two days ago it was like uh, At this time of the day like at almost 8 It must have been about 70 degrees 70 I would say maybe 74 And uh, right now I'm guessing it's about I don't know 55 degrees uh, which is uh, it's okay, but it's summertime. Come on, or maybe not anymore. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about a uh, uh, a rear tire that I put on my uh, on my motorcycle. Uh, I'm driving a uh, or not driving, but I'm riding uh, an SV650. And uh, a few months ago, I got a flat tire. And I, I, I patched it, you know, I put one of those patches that you patch tires with. And um, it worked for a few months. Uh, and then not long ago, it started leaking air through that same hole again. And I, uh, I put some slime. I don't know if you guys know what that is. I didn't know that existed until a month ago, I think. And uh, I put some slime in the tire and um, it worked for a few a couple weeks I guess but then it started leaking leaking out the slime like goo goo stuff green all over my uh, rear fender and uh, and I, I finally said you know what I'm just gonna get a new tire so I called a few uh, tire stores like Cycle Gear North Bay Motorsport and uh, and other other tire dealers and one day i went to cycle gear and uh i i i uh i asked the guy i said hey uh i need to buy a, a tire for for the motorcycle and he said okay what size is it you know and i said it's 160. but uh, i wanted to buy a uh, wider tire and i was i was I was thinking about I don't know buying like a like a a, a, wide, a wider one. So so I said to I said to the guy, hey, uh, what's the widest I can go without having to uh, uh, cut and weld and change blah 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 things on my tire on my on my motorcycle, you know? So he said uh, the widest probably be about 180. He said. So I, I said, uh, okay, I'll buy a 180 tire. And uh, then, he, but then he said, you know, but I don't recommend it to you. It, I just, I don't recommend it. You know, I definitely don't recommend it. And I said to the guy, why? You know, he said, he said because right now your motorcycle handles very nice. One of, the, he said that motorcycle is one of the bikes that handles the nicest because it's light and blah blah blah. And I said, okay, uh, so maybe not 180 anymore. I'll just stick to the 160. But, um, but uh, about uh, when, when I when I bought it, uh, I couldn't go to the store, and uh, I told my friend to do it for me. So he went to the store, and I told him, you know, I said to him, you know, ask the guy if they have a 170. And if they have 170, buy a 170. So he went and bought a 170. And to be honest, it doesn't make much difference, you know. I mean, the 170 is just a little bit wider than the 160, and 
it looks a little cooler you know but the bike still handles the same it, you can you can still you know lean a lot and uh, and it's not like heavy heavy I don't know but it handles the same and it, it looks better so I'm wondering now maybe next time I'll go 180 I said maybe next time I'll go 180 but again I have no idea why the guy would say you know I don't recommend it to you I highly don't recommend it to you uh -oh. hurry up hurry up the bus is leaving yeah so the guy said I highly don't recommend it to you so but I, I still you know I still don't know why if it's because of the uh, handling of the motorcycle you know I could care less I'm not going to the track I have two two more motorcycles to go to the track so I wanted a wider tire of <laughs> just getting about the motorcycles okay I I don't have two motorcycles um, but anyways I, I was thinking you know maybe next time I'll go 180 because if it's if it's all about the handling uh, I really don't care much about the handling I'm sure it's still gonna handle I'm sure I'm still gonna be able to take curves because I've seen motorcycles that have I don't know like 300 rear tire and they still turn you know you can still turn them uh, I don't know why 180 would not be good and uh, so now then I was talking to my friend about it and he said you know maybe it's not much about the handling maybe it's about the uh, specs of the bike maybe the uh, axle you know can handle more than 160 or blah blah blah, blah something like that you know and uh, well, that got me thinking. But next time, if if the if the 180 fits on the motorcycle, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next time, if the uh, 180 fits on the motorcycle and it's drivable, I'll give it a try. Why not? You know, I'll if 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 I end up not liking it, I'll uh, I'll just stick back to the 170 or 160. But I want a wider tire because it look better. I mean, I know this is a 650, but the tire it has right now it's it's a little bit too. Um, I don't know. Well, not right now, but the one it used to have it's a little bit. Um, I would say skinny, like a wheelbarrow tire. <laughs> 